Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. As part of NCRT 10th grade syllabus, we will learn today about alternate segment theorem. This theorem is not covered in the NCRT syllabus, but it's algorithm which can be easily found out without knowing the theorem also, but it's useful to know the theorem. So what is this theorem alternate segment theorem as part of circles? Let's try to understand. This is as part of 9th or 10th class syllabus. Now, alternate segment theorem says that the angle between angle between the chord and the tangent angle between chord and the tangent is equal to the angle made by the chord in the alternate segment i'll repeat again the angle between the chord and the tangent that is angle bat is equal to angle made by the card in the alternate segment that is nothing but equal to angle bpa so angle bat is equal to angle bpa that is alternate segment theorem it's a very simple proof so we'll go ahead and prove that first we'll write down what we have to prove we have to prove angle bat is equal to angle bpa or apb this is what i have to prove so first what we will do we will take this card AB and join it to center now we know that if angle BPA is equal to theta then angle BOA will be equal to 2 theta we know that because angle made by the arc at center is double the angle made at any point in the same segment so I can write down this is what we have to prove given I'm, I'm not going in a systematic way you know what to write so first step what we'll write down we'll write down angle AOB is equal to two times of angle APB or BPA so we are starting from here we want to prove that that angle equal to theta so that is equal to 2 into angle BPA that is equal to 2 theta okay now once we join O to A we know that this total angle is equal to 90 degrees we know that this total angle equal to 90 degrees what is that angle we'll write down but we know angle OAT is equal to 90 degrees why OAT is 90 degrees OAT is 90 degrees because the line drawn from the center to the point of contact of a tangent makes 90 degrees at the point of contact so we know angle OAT equal to 90 degrees now let us consider this triangle let us consider this triangle OAB in OAB we know that this angle is equal to 2 theta it's an isosceles triangle because OA equal to OB so obviously the other base angles base ang two base angles will be nothing but 90 minus theta and 90 minus theta then only angle sum property will be 180 minus so what we want now we want is angle BAT we will write down angle BAT is nothing but angle OAT minus angle AOB angle OAB angle OAB which is equal to angle OAT we know is already 90 degrees minus of OAB OAB if this is 2 theta I'll go back and write down we found out that that's theta then this is 2 theta then this guy will be 90 minus theta on the other side also that will be equal to 90 minus theta so 90 minus theta we can say 90 minus of 90 minus of theta which is equal to 90 degrees minus 90 degrees plus theta which is equal to theta so we know that now alternate segment theorem which says that the angle between the chord and a tangent is equal to angle made by the chord in the alternate segment theorem how to prove this 
we will start from the point where the angle is made by the cut alternate segment what's the meaning of that the circle is divided by the cut ab into two segments one segment is a b p a a p b that's a major segment the other segment is the small segment which is going through a b this is the small segment this is the small segment and this is the ma uh, major segment major segment is the alternate segment here so the angle between the tangent and the cord that is nothing but angle b a t is equal to angle made by the same cord a b on the other side on the alternate segment at any point on the circle that's nothing but angle b p a is equal to angle b a t how we have proven that we know this angle is theta so the angle made at center is 2 theta we know that proof once we know 2 theta we know that this is an isosceles triangle o a equal to o b that means base angle is 90 minus theta but we know that the angle o a t is 90 degrees because the point at point of contact of the normal and the tangent the angle is 90 degrees or the line from the center to the point of contact makes a 90 degrees at the point of contact to the tangent so we know that total is 90 degrees 90 minus of 90 minus theta which is equal to theta so that is alternate segment theorem